Welcome to our 2022 Highlights film. Let's take a look back at everything we've achieved together this year. We set sail on the new year with a special sailing trip enjoyed by both mental health patients and staff. They spent a week learning how to sail, cook and clean along the southeast coast, developing their confidence and social skills over spectacular sunsets. We also expanded our Crisis Cafes offer, inviting voluntary and community organisations to run a cafe on behalf of their community across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. In February, we launched our new mental health support teams in schools as part of Children's Mental Health Week, with dedicated educational mental health practitioners working alongside a number of schools to support students' mental well-being. In March, our workforce came together in an act of reflection, remembrance and respect for all who gave or received care during the COVID-19 pandemic and as a signal of hope for the future. A scheme to speed up ADHD diagnosis in children and young people won a national award. We secured over £85,000 of funding to develop a virtual falls prevention programme. In April, we hosted a successful recruitment event for CAMS, where hundreds of local people came along to find out about job opportunities. The success led to a similar careers event for community health and mental health services a few months later. In May, the CQC recognised improvements in our acute wards for adults of working age and psychiatric intensive care units. Our Diana Children's Community Service were awarded a Cavill Star Award for their exceptional work during the COVID-19 pandemic. People with learning disabilities and autistic people were given the opportunity to share their experiences of health and social care in LLR to help address health inequalities. In June, Angela Hillary, Chief Executive, was named in the HSJ Top 100 Influential People in Health for the second year running. Over the summer, a number of ex-service personnel took part in open water swimming sessions with award-winning rescue dogs to help them with post-traumatic stress disorder. In August, our work with veterans was recognised as we successfully completed our Veteran Aware three-year re-accreditation once again. We carried out around £1 million of major refurbishments to Rutland Memorial Hospital. In September, 30 nurses we recruited from around the world were celebrated at a special graduation ceremony. We launched our winter booster clinics for flu and COVID. In October, our Chat Health text messaging service was crowned winners of not one, but two top NHS awards. We also celebrated the outstanding work of teams and individuals who have gone above and beyond their everyday roles at our Celebrating Excellence Awards ceremony. Six frontline clinicians completed the Director of Nursing Fellowship Programme to enhance the quality of care they provide. More people with autism were able to access our new Chat Autism text messaging service to access personalised advice and support. Our virtual wards, which enable patients to receive treatment at home instead of in hospital, were extended to support patients with a wider range of health conditions. In November, our finance team won three awards at the East Midlands Healthcare Financial Management Awards. We also won three awards in the Midlands Inclusivity and Diversity Awards Scheme. We relaunched the Our Future Our Way programme with over 80 new change leaders to help us continue to improve our staff and patient experience. Our Raising a Smile fundraising campaign by our charity Raising Health raised over £2,500 to provide Christmas presents for all inpatients to open on Christmas Day. On behalf of the Trust Board, we'd like to thank all of our staff, volunteers and partners for their support and commitment. We hope you are able to take some time out for yourselves this festive season and wish you a happy new year.